वेलकम टू द ऑनलाइन लेक्चर सीरीज ऑफ हीट एंड मास ट्रांसफर सब्सक्राइब द चैनल फॉर वीडियो सेशंस हियर इज प्रोफेसर लक्ष्मण माने दिस इज अ वीडियो सेशन ऑन वेलोसिटी एंड थर्मल बाउंड्री लेयर इन दिस सेशन you will be able to explain velocity boundary layer and thermal boundary layer velocity boundary layer this concept was introduced by l pradantal in 1904 this is also called as hydrodynamic boundary layer so here in this diagram we can see a free stream of air is flowing over the flat plate so when the fluid flows over a flat plate at the leading edge all layers of fluid have same velocity so this is a leading edge the fluid touching the surface is brought to rest means velocity becomes zero by the shear stress to at the wall so the region in which flow adjusts from zero velocity at the wall to a maximum in the main stream of the flow is termed the velocity boundary layer so here at the surface velocity of fluid particle is zero and away from the surface as we go in a normal direction velocity of fluid particle increasing and it becomes equal to free stream air velocity so this is the dotted line shown this is called as boundary layer so here this is a velocity increasing so this is called as velocity gradient or velocity profile in this diagram there are three zones as per the type of velocity so here thickness of velocity boundary layer is shown by the greek symbol delta which is defined as the distance normal to the surface in which velocity of layers varies from 0 to 99% of the free stream velocity so here it becomes 0.99 times velocity of free stream so that is delta distance that is thickness of boundary layer the flow of flow within the boundary layer depends upon the distance from the leading edge of the plate means this is a leading edge and the distance is given by the x so here by this there are three zones likewise there are three types laminar boundary layer which occurs in laminar zone transient boundary layer that occurs in transition zone and turbulent boundary layer that occurs in turbulent zone so here zone a to b is a laminar zone and boundary layer ae is laminar boundary layer zone bc is a transient boundary zone and in this the layer that is boundary layer transient boundary layer ef and zone cd is a turbulent zone and here turbulent boundary layer is f to g shown here how how it happens it happens by non dimensional number that is called as reynolds number so type of flow is decided by it so Reynolds number is a ratio of inertia force to viscous force. Mathematically, it is rho v x divided by mu, or v x divided by mu. 
where rho is a density of fluid that is expressed in meter cube per kg v is a velocity of fluid given in meter per second x is a distance from leading edge given in meter mu is a dynamic viscosity or absolute viscosity expressed in newton second per meter square nu is a kinematic viscosity expressed in meter square per second here when the reynold number is less than the value phi unit to n raised to phi then the type of flow is laminar flow when the reynold number is greater than this value the flow becomes turbulent between these two the flow zone that is transition zone and in that type of flow is transient flow so here let us see laminar flow this is a laminar flow in a laminar zone in which layers of fluid are parallel to each other no layer cross to each other that's why the type of flow is laminar flow and the boundary layer is laminar boundary layer so thickness of velocity boundary layer delta increases due to continuous retardation means decrement of flow and flow is reduced due to viscosity means viscous force so the flow is laminar is initially the velocity variation is in this case parabolic in laminar flow so this is a curve shown that is parabolic shape the viscous force is large as compared to inertia force that is the reason of laminar flow and laminar boundary layer second zone that is transient flow in transition zone so that is here e to f so beyond the laminar flow thickness of boundary layer decreases so here it is shown here by dotted line or dashed line third part that is f to g where the flow is turbulent flow so where reynold number is greater than 5 into 10 raised to 5 that's why here layers of fluid are mixing with each other so that's why turbulence is occurred so boundary layer seems to be completely vanished in this zone that is turbulent flow zone so still there is a thin layer which is shown here at the base here with this dashed line so this thin layer in this still there layers are flowing parallel to each other that's why this is called as laminar sublayer thermal boundary layer here this is a flow of gas flowing over the flat plate so this is a dash line so temperature of free stream that is t infinity and temperature of surface that is ts so initially the fluid particle are having temperature ts as it goes up normal to the flat plate temperature is increasing and that is finally becoming temperature of free stream that is t infinity so here this thermal boundary layer is a, this curve which is shown here so there is a development of thermal boundary layer which is analogous to velocity boundary layer if the temperature of the fluid t infinity is different from the solid surface temperature ts now here are the two types when the flow of fluid over hot plate so this is a shown here in this case t infinity this temperature and this is a temperature profile so here temperature of wall tw at the surface as it is shown in upward direction temperature is reduced 
up to the thermal boundary layer. So fluid particle coming in contact with the surface will exchange heat energy with the adjacent layers of fluid. So here temperature of the next layer will be less than Tw and this will happen so on. So temperature profile is developed in the fluid flow is shown here. Here T is a function of x and y. x is a direction or length of or distance from the leading edge and y is the normal direction. As the fluid moves along the plate, temperature variation takes place in y direction. In case of flow of fluid over cold plate, in this case Tw here is less than T infinity, means temperature of free stream. So that's why here initially this is a fluid particle having point at this point. However, the distance is increasing from the leading edge temperature is increasing. So here it becomes finally temperature equal to free stream T infinity. So this is a temperature profile and this curve is a thermal boundary layer. So at the end of this session you can explain velocity boundary layer and thermal boundary layer. Subscribe the channel Thermal Engineering for such kind of other video sessions. Thank you.